Hi, this is Charlie giving you, well, it's Thursday's um, video this week. I meant to record this yesterday, but I just wanted to put this out there because it's a bit different and it's about the stock markets and um, that, in fact, I am going into cash. I've, um, on my pension, um, some pension money of mine, I'm going into cash um, in some, some funds there. So, um, because, and that's for the first time since 2009. So if I put this to the monthly charts, I went into the markets in late 2008. I got back in in this area and I've yet to come out. And I wasn't going to come out, you know, because it's, it's the long run and everything else. But um, I, it's not that I'm expecting an, an imminent reversal in the stock markets necessarily. And they could continue to drift their way higher. But um, I think in the grand scheme of things, and when I talk about the grand scheme of things, bear in mind this is unleveraged, unleveraged money, um, in the grand scheme of things I just think the markets are, um, have had a tremendous run and that um, you know um, they may ha continue a, a more of a run and maybe I'll be wrong in that regard but I just, um, I, am, I am going into cash for a while and I think the markets are, you know, um, are quite richly valued um, at what, 33 times earnings in the US? And um, I don't think earnings are going to be catching up that quickly. Maybe I'm wrong, but we shall see. I'm going. I'm into cash now, or the orders have gone in to go into cash. And um, so it's not to say that I'm trying to pick a top right here, but I don't think this is a bad level. Um, we may go higher um, for several months, um, you know. But um, but I don't think this is a bad time to for me to personally go into cash. So I'm doing that. So I thought I'd put that out there as a slightly different um, video this week. We can see actually if I do some analysis here on the S&P, it's effectively just in a sideways range at the moment. And so who knows um, where it's going to go to from here as far as up, down, sideways, whatever. But um, um, but um, I'm quite happy to to say right, you know, I've been in the market since late 2008. It's been a good run. And um, for now, I'm going into cash. So let's have a quick look through these markets, actually, while we're here. It's been a bit of an interesting week again this week. Obviously, with FOMC yesterday, if we go to the likes of the euro dollar, we had this um, um, intraday yesterday. We broke out. The um, the risk was always going to be there. And I was talking to our traders in the trading room yesterday that, um, that um, is it going to be you know, a fake out, take a load of orders, and, and then turn it back down, which is what it ended up doing. I was... Um, when the market, I was short the S and the, sorry, this is Euro. I was short from over here, um, looking for some downside. Got stopped out, and then ended up getting back in, but just before going to bed last night. And so, um, uh, but when it came up and stopped me out, um, I wasn't going to all of a sudden just about face turn and and just buy it, um, even though as tempting as it could have been to have bought it, I had to stick to the plan. And it was a similar thing with the dollar yen actually. The dollar yen. Um, came lower um, intraday yesterday, and then did the reversal and managed to get long on the dollar yen. Um, so um, because that's where my analysis was calling for as well. But uh, sometimes you have to take a couple of losses in order to get on the right to be on the right side. You could your analysis could be right, you could just be a little bit early. You'll get stopped out by some noise, and um, oh, my dog's going flying around the do around the house. I shall leave it at that. Don't ignore the noise, stick to your analysis, maybe that's the key this week, and so I am going into cash on the S&P for now, oh sorry, and the stock markets for now, um, on the unleveraged money that I, that I have. Okay, I shall leave that with you, and be back in touch tomorrow for live trading.